If God is all-knowing, therefore he knew when he created, created us, we would become sinners, and the majority of people would go to hell. So why did he create us? Yeah, you know, I think that the uh, kind of the idea there is that God wanted, wanted to create family. And when he created us, he created us with free will, which Im- involves risk. And Adam and Eve, you know, there's that temptation by the serpent and that to do that which is wrong and contrary, to doubt God, to uh, call God into question. And I think that, you know, philosophers have wrestled with this, apologists have wrestled with this, Mm -hmm. and the rest of us too, for a long time. Um, with, With the risk comes the opportunity for us to know him and to be with him and to experience the joy. I don't know I don't know if the question I wonder if the question comes more from people who are not Christians as opposed to people who are Christians. That, that's where the Christian come that's where the question from comes non-Christians? from non-Christians. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I you know, I, so I guess kind of the question is probably couched a little bit in fear. Mm-hmm. You know, of you know, that there's a reckoning that's going to take place. And um uh, but the idea is that God wants us to be in relationship with him and, uh, and that the risk of people choosing not to be with him is a, a risk that God was willing to take because, you know, for those of us who know God, knowing God is, is the greatest. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's the thing. Uh, but it's, you know, so people who don't know God, you know, they're, on, they're already on their journey to hell. They're, it's because they choose to not want to follow God. Mm-hmm. And God gives them that freedom. So, yeah. I mean, what, if, 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 uh, if you think that God is going to force you into heaven when you spend all your life avoiding him, what a hellish experience that would be. Mm-hmm. If you're forced into heaven, you spend all your life trying to avoid God, get away from God, and then God forces you in there, how, how miserable you would be. Wouldn't be the best. Wouldn't be the best. I think Paul Copan is the one that kind of uh, set that idea in my head. And, uh, and I, I kind of agree with that, that, you know, that God is a loving God. He wants people to discover him and find him and choose him. Um, and so, the, so the, instead of that, you know, how awful this is, it's like God gives us these opportunities, these amazing opportunities to experience him and know him and grow in him. And it's a foretaste of what eternal life with God will be. Mm-hmm. That, you know, eternal life with God is going to be amazing. And realistically, we're, we're, this is the foretaste of eternal life because we're, we're with God already. And that, that he's at work in our lives, and so we're just growing in our relationship with him. So, yeah, I don't know. I th- I think that sometimes you, you know, why did he create us? Well, if you believe in God, that there is a good God, why aren't you following him? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't believe in God or a God, then it doesn't much matter because your faith is in just in this existence and And nothing (laughs) there's nothing yeah yeah yeah. so it's that kind of atheistic agnostic Mm -hmm. perspective so and if you believe in in god being a a good god again why why would you not choose to follow him Mm -hmm. now personally i'm i'm happy he went through and created us anyways despite Uh, the sin issue yeah (laughs) yeah yeah. well i mean and the thing is is that yeah he creates the solution to sin, to, mm-hmm. to unrighteousness, and that's yeah. Jesus. Um, but if people choose to not want to follow him or not want to know him, you know, you you throw the dice and you're, you're always going to come up short, mm-hmm. you know, because it's only through Jesus. And, and they assume that God's awful. Yeah. 
you know, that the Christian experience is awful. And God wants to smite you and smite you or that or that, you know, the Christian life is is has no joy in it where mm-hmm. I would say contrary to that, you know, there's great joy. You know, I don't do the things you do, but then I see a lot of people out doing other stuff and they, they kind of look misery miserable in their and their joy and yeah. their excitement, you know, yeah. their, their their freedom. <laughs> and their freedom, right, 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 right. So it's just yeah, I don't I don't quite get that. Mhm. So, I don't know if that's a good enough answer for anybody, but I just think that uh, what God does for those who are on their way to hell is he provides a way of escape. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's Jesus. Jesus came to die to forgive us of our sins, to cleanse our hearts, to say this is the way to God. And if we go, I don't want that, then okay. But for those of us who choose God through Jesus there's great joy and there's great anticipation and there's great assurance of what happens when I die and I don't have to be afraid or worried or in doubt but the, if, the, the sin problem is not an unsolved problem yeah the <laughs> sin problem is not a problem anymore yeah in terms of of the I'm right with God mm-hmm. I'm, I mean God's still working on me in terms of the holiness issues and the stuff I gotta deal with but but in terms of what Christ has done for me, I'm, I'm set free from that, from sin, because of what he's done for us on the cross. But if you are, if you don't know God, then there's all kinds of uncertainty and fear, mm-hmm. rightfully so. I'd be scared to death. But when you know Jesus, you don't have to be af- afraid. We've kind of morphed this question into <laughs> something else, but... I guess that's what people do all the time anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's more of a jumping off point. <laughs> <laughs> it's a platform to yeah. dive into different directions. 